Good afternoon, good evening, everyone. It's evening now. Good evening, everyone. Happy Saturday, our last night of the week. And we're knocking out this right here, a full case of 2018 Panini Donruss Optic Baseball. This is pick your team number nine from jazbeeshobbyland.com. And a big thank you to these folks for getting into the action. There it is right there. And thanks to Vic with double last spot mojo grabbing the Pirates and the Padres. At the very end, I think Rick T got the Mets towards the end too. So thanks for finishing off these breaks, you guys. And I appreciate everybody getting into this break. I know this was kind of sitting here for a little bit. This is always a good, fun one to do. So thank you very much. We only have one more case left, so keep an eye out for that as a pick your team on jazbeeshobbyland.com. All right. Good luck, boys and girls. All right, so who's here for this break? Who's here? What team do you have? What are you looking for? Some people are just looking for hits. They don't care what kind of hit, just a hit. That's fine. Some people are looking for something specific. Some of you may be trying to build a rainbow. Who's trying to build a rainbow out of this set? Nice TJ in the house. I like the I like the lip of the cards this way. Packs right there. Um, Robert's not in it. TJ's in it though. He has the Cardinals. He's looking for a Big Mac or a Darth Bader. Johnny's got the Nationals. Looking for anyone in particular. Alex, present. Rays, I would imagine. There you go. There's some Rays in there. Kevin, Red Sox. No, more. Boombox has the Red Sox. Jeremy Anderson wants his brother, Brian Anderson. Might be related. Matthew just uh, got, grabbed the Rockies and the Brewers. Just looking for value hits. All right, that's a smart play. That's a smart play. Daniel Press. D Press looking for um, looking for some Diamondbacks, some Goldschmidt. Scott McNulty in the house just looking for Cubs. Jeremy Anderson. I'm just going to pretend he has the Marlins in this one. I'm just going to pretend... That you guys are related. And we're going to make, if we pull a Brian Anderson autograph, it'd be like, we'll make the joke, like, oh, your bro Jeremy can just get this from his brother. Just ask his brother for his autograph. All right. Just get a base card. We'll send you a base card. Even though Vet Base doesn't ship, I'll, I'll ship it for those purposes. All right. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. Box number one. So for those of you who are, I think some of you are new here, veteran base like this won't ship. Vet base doesn't ship. Inserts like this will ship. That's a special insert too. That will ship. Right, that will ship. These are inserts too. All these rated rookies will ship. This Carlos Correa won't ship. But if this was like a silver or refractor version of it, it would ship. And Shohei Otani will ship to the Angels. Diane Bailey. Rated rookie autograph show. Hey, oh, 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 Tani. Auto parts. Not numbered, but a strong way to start the break, ladies and gentlemen. Wake up. Break time. Wake up, folks. See, like that Mike Trout will obviously ship because it's all silvery and refractory. Miguel Cabrera. Miggy, parallel. So all obviously all of those will ship too. All those variations, they have a black baseball instead of a white baseball. So our shipping team takes a look at the backs of all these cards when they're sorting. And in case I miss any, you'll just you'll just know that they will ship. There's Joey Pico de Gallo. <laughs> Pico de Gallo. That's his, uh, that's his Players Weekend nickname. Let 
as Corey's brother. Mound Marvels for the Astros out of 149. And rated rookie autograph. There's my boy Alex Verdugo, David Duffy with the Dodgers. David Duffy with the Dodgers. Good alliteration there. David Duffy obviously related to Danny Duffy of the Royals. Of course. Obviously. There's Kutch. Tesso right there. There's J.P. Crawford, rated rookie, out of 149. So just in the interest of time, we will sleeve and top load these. Uh, the shipping team will sleeve and top load these before they're shipped out to you. So, yeah, not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. Should we just leave this right out here? Bill Mosher saying Mookie bets his player's weekend name is Mookie. That's it? I'm sure we could think of some better better nicknames. Something with bets maybe, big bets, right? I like big bets and I cannot lie. Could be something like that, something like that. I don't know. Surely there's someone in Mookie Betts' life that that is has that has the ability to make up a clever nickname. Yeah, yeah. Manfred baseball commissioner Manfred Mann. Manfred Mann's probably not happy with that. How about how about not blacking out MLB.tv games for the Dodgers when I'm a subscriber to MLB.tv? How about get rid of that 12-hour 12-hour time zone range blackout? <laughs> What's Josh Hader's nickname? I'm sure we can think of some. That are not maybe not appropriate for this family friendly show. There's Eddie Matthews out of 199. Cody Bellinger. And then we've got nice Ozzy Albius. There we go. Ozzy Oz going to Rick T and the Braves. These first three autos of the case have been pretty strong. I saw Adrian Beltre take take a 100 mile per hour fastball from a Rollis Chapman just above the kneecap. That looked like that hurt. Out of 199, George Springer for the Astros. That Goldschmidt will ship out to you, D Press. There's Mickey Mantle, the Mick. Andrew Bantini, 299. And Aaron Judge. Different variation there for the Yankees. Kevin, Kevin Lesser, you are not suggesting that I use a illegal an illegal stream. Certainly, you wouldn't be recommending something like that. For the Brew Crew, Optic Autographs, Brett Phillips. Matthew Bodner with that one. Not numbered, but a nice autograph. There you go.
All right, next box. It's not illegal? How? How? Do they have the express written consent of Major League Baseball? <laughs> All right, next box. Good luck, folks. Good start on this one, folks. Good start on this break. We've got some final scores out here in the world of baseball. Nationals beat the Cubs 9-4. Red Sox shut out the Baltimore Orioles in Baltimore 5-0. In the Bronx, the Yankees beat the Rangers 5-3. In, in, our, in, the, in, our, in our neighbors to the north, the Tampa Bay Rays are there. They beat the Blue Jays 3-1. And then uh, the Twins edged out the Tigers 4-3. See one other. I need the. I need the. Maybe put a put a penny on the on the White Sox. They're down by two in the top of the eighth to the Indians. I could still do it. Come on, White Sox. I also took the Royals. I don't think they're gonna do it. Down three runs. Down six three in Kansas City to the Cardinals. This looks like a parallel hot box, boys and girls. There's two parallel hot boxes per case and two autograph hot boxes per case, which are usually one of these bottom two boxes. But the parallel hot box seem a little more random. All right, let me create a little more space for myself. All right, there's 3,000 Hit Club, Nolan Arenado out of 149. Michael Fulmer to 299 for the Tigers. Robinson Cano out of 199. For the Mariners, we got Freddie Freeman, Diamond Kings insert to 299. And Jonathan Lucroy is your Optic Autographs Blue Auto. Nice one for David Duffy and the Oakland A's. Nice. 21 out of 50. I almost forgot that he was on the, on the A's until I was watching some A's games the other night. There's Bryce out of 149. You think the Nationals should have traded Bryce Harper? No, Syndergaard to 299. His, his buddy Jacob DeGrom to 199. Dallas Keuchel out of 299. There's running Otani. Dallas Keuchel again. That should be out of 50. 18 out of 50. And then we've got Ryan McMahon. Nice Ryan McMahon autograph for Matthew and the Rockies. There you go. So the you got the Brewers and the Rockies. Both teams hitting. There it is. 22 out of 35. Nice low number on that Ryan McMahon too. Hit a big home run off my Dodgers the other night. There's Ronald Guzman for the Rangers out of 299. J.D. Martinez long ball insert out of 149. He's been hitting them. Cameron Gallagher to 199. Zach Granite at a 299. We got Adam Jones, Jonesy to 99. I thought he'd be traded too. Hugh Darvish at a 299. Justin Boer for the Marlins out of 199. Luis Severino, Yankees to tune. Is that JD Martinez Diamondbacks edition? It is. There it is, right there. Arizona Diamondbacks edition. So that that will go to you, Daniel. All right, Adrian Beltre, Odubel Herrera. Adam Jones, Red Sox edition of J.D. Martinez, and then Noah Syndergaard. 
Was Justin Bour traded to the Phillies? For who? I don't. I don't remember that deal happening. All right, next box. Good luck. Oh, literally today? I've not looked at any baseball news today for a minor league pitcher. All right, well, some other games in progress. Some other games. I think the Brewers just beat the Braves in Atlanta 4-2. to two. That That's a recent final. Diamondbacks with a narrow 3-2 to two lead over the Reds in Cincinnati. In Baltimore, the Red Sox and the O's are tied in the bottom of the seventh at threes. Bottom of the ninth, speaking of the Marlins, the Marlins are tied at three with the Mets in Miami. In the top of the a lot of games close to finishing. In the top of the ninth, Seattle with a narrow 3-2 lead over the Astros. In the top of the ninth, the Cardinals leading 6-3 over the Royals. Bottom of the eighth, White Sox down by two runs. They're up to bat in Chicago. My Dodgers leading the Rockies 2-0 in the top of the seventh in Colorado. And a couple games still in the middle. Phillies leading the Padres 2-0. Pirates at zeros with the Giants. Oakland zeros in L.A. D. Gordon out of 199. Kyle Hendricks. Is this another parallel hot box? Two in a row out of 299. It is. Paul Goldschmidt. Diamondbacks out of 199 for Daniel. Jacob deGrom to 299 and the straw man daryl strawberry optic autographs for the mets that was a late pickup rick t with the metropolitans nice rick eight out of 25 on that one ozzy albius to 299 for the braves jonesy adam jones to 50 for the o's That'll be for David Duffy. Jacob DeGrom out of 149 for the Mets. Mitch Garver to 199. Corey's brother to 299. And we've got Nicholas John Delmonico. Rated rookie autograph for the White Sox. That goes to EA Sports. It's in the game. Nicholas John Delmonico, 53 out of 99. Ronald Guzman, out of 99. Zach Granke for the Diamondbacks, out of 99. Adrian Beltre, 3,000 hit club, out of 149. Adam Wainwright, Waino to Cardinals, 299. J.D. Martinez, Red Sox. 63 out of 99. Kutch to 199. Former teammate Josh Bell to 99. Cameron Gallagher to 149. George Springer, just a refractor, not numbered. Cameron Gallagher again to 299. That's Kyle's brother out of 199. They're brothers. And Eric Cosmer to 299. All right, another, another nice stack of parallels, which we will sleeve up and top load before we ship out. All right, next one. Good luck, everybody.
All right, it looks like the uh, Buffalo Bills are sold out, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you to whoever got the Bills. So that will be the next break right after this. So we still have about, oh, another 30 minutes or so in this break. And then once we're done with that, let me throw another 30, 40 minutes left in the break. Once we're done with this, and we'll put this break away, we'll see who got the Bills, and then we'll dive right into the certified football which is about another 45-ish minute break. And once we're done with the certified football, pick your team break. Maybe we can work on the random team version of certified football. I think people were wanting to do that. There's only 22 spots left at $24.99 a spot. We've got some other options too. Football, baseball, basketball, hockey. I know some people want to do flawless football today. That's on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Some people wanted to do... Tops Chrome Baseball, random team edition. We can do that as well. Remember, we have an all spot sold promo happening right now for any break. All spots sold in any break are entered into one big randomizer. And the uh, six names on top, after we randomize it X amount of times, the six names on top will get 50 bucks of break credit each, which is a, it's a great deal. All right, so get into it, boys and girls. Make it happen. All right, this is autograph already. Dylan Peters, rated rookie autograph. That goes to Jeremy Anderson, who's looking for his brother in this set, Brian Anderson. But you get his teammate instead, Dylan Peters. There's Strasburg. Year in review, Cody Ballinger, fastest to 21 home runs. There you go. That goes to Duffy and the Dodgers. Corey Kluber out of 199. Mike Trout. I, did, I saw that, Rich. Yeah, certified sold out. So that'll be the next break after this. But no one's, no one's claiming it yet. No one's saying, hey, I got the bills. Aaron Judge for the Yankees. That'll be for TC. Oh, really? Jeremy's saying that his grandma's maiden name is Peters. You guys are all related. There's Reese. Reese Hoskins. Nice Reese Hoskins for the Phillies. David Duffy with the fight and fills. Nine out of 99 on that. He's got a good autograph. I like his auto. I'm a fan of it. I definitely root for the guys with the good autographs. I want them to be good so we can continue seeing them and seeing nice autos in sets. All right, next one. Now we have we have seen we have seen the two parallel hot boxes. And as most of you know by now, the autograph hot boxes seem to be in the same position. So it's either and I forget what side it's on, but it's either going to be the last two boxes on the left side or the last two boxes on the right side. Yeah, Rich is like, I like his autograph too, but he's a Philly. Wait, who's your team, your baseball team, Rich? Why am I blanking on that? The Phillies having a, remember when, remember first week of the season? And I, you know, I was saying this too. Oh, your twins guy. First week of the season, remember when we were like, ah, oh, you know, like, Gabe Kapler and the Philadelphia Phillies. Man, he, look at all the inexperience there. What they're gonna they're gonna not be good and this and that. 
Well, turned out that they're pretty good. The Phillies are 64 and 51. They have 64 wins already, and they're just a half game ahead of the uh, of the Braves in the NL East. Isn't that crazy? If someone told me at the beginning of the season, the very last last week of spring training, they're like Joe on August 11th, 2018. The Phillies will be 64 and 51, and the Braves will be just behind them, 63 and 51. And the Nationals will be five games out of first. I would tell them, I would tell them, fooey. That's crazy talk, I would say. How much money you want to bet on that, I would say. And I would lose that bet. Austin Hayes, 84 out of 99. There's Eric Fetty for the Nash, speaking of the Nationals. John Birch with the Nats. They gave Eric Fetty the thick pen. Um, I just didn't think that would happen. Not this soon. I thought Phillies, Braves were, what? I think even, even some of their fans would say that they were a year or two away. A year at the, at, at the earliest, earliest, earliest. You know, but maybe realistically two, three seasons away from performing like they like they have been. Now, I'm sure there'll be a bit of a sophomore slump for some of these guys. Nice Miguel Andujar for TC and the Yankees. Nice. So, but still, they've definitely, both teams have definitely looked pretty fantastic. Daniel saying, D Press is saying the Mets just blew up and it killed me internally this season. Yeah, they, well, they, didn't they have a great like first month? Like the first month of the season, they looked pretty good. And everyone's like, "Wow, what a surprise!" Mets, blah blah. blah. There's Yadi at two ninety nine out of two ninety nine for the Cardinals. But then there are some injuries here and there. I think the Cespedes injury kind of certainly weakened their offense a lot. And then it just all kind of fell apart from there. There's Ronald Guzman. I thought the Mets were going to... I thought they were going to maybe move DeGrom or Syndergaard. You know, try to, try to get some prospects... Trying to get some prospects back. You know, let's try to start that rebuild. You know, maybe move guys like is Jay Bruce still on there? Todd Frazier, maybe. Oh yeah, <laughs> Daniel saying Daniel Press is like I swear win streaks, super long win streaks aren't good. <laughs> well, yeah, because there's there's definitely baseball is definitely a sport where everything eventually regresses to the mean, right? If you're overplaying, if you're playing out of your mind, and you're winning all these games. At some point, you'll go the opposite way. You'll drop, and then everything kind of just evens out after 162 games. But it is crazy, yeah. They're not ready to restart it? They, they should be. Daniel's saying, now nah, the Mets are still in win-now mode, weirdly as it sounds. They're, 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 they're just not ready to restart it. I feel like they got to. You look at you look at Philadelphia. You look at Atlanta, and the way they've constru constructed their rosters. You know they've got deep pockets, and they've got a deep roster of youngsters. Could the Mets really compete in that window now? I don't know if I see that. 
There's Felix Jorge for the Twins. That'll go to Arthur and the Twins. There you go, Arthur. There's Austin Hayes for the O's out of 199. There's running Shoei Otani. I think we pulled one of those already. There's Kutch at a 99. Should be one more autograph in here. There's Brian Dozier, new Dodger. There's Fernando Tatis Jr. Rated prospect out of 149. That's a nice one. There it is. It's Kevin Maiton. Gold. Rated prospect gold. Going to Diane and the Angels. Wow, so you got the Otani and the 1 out of 10 Kevin Maiton. Remember, big international prospect from the Braves who lost him after, I don't know, moving money around. <laughs> moving international bonus money around. Putting money in pockets that shouldn't have that money. They got in trouble. They lost Kevin Maiton. Angels picked him up. It's a big one right there. Nice. Congrats. All right, next box. Daniel saying, I knew something was brewing in Philadelphia, but the, but the Braves came out of nowhere, and it saddens me deeply. You can't you can't stand either team. I, the, the Mets have to re have to reboot. I think that's I think that's their that's their play. Yeah, the Braves. I knew they had a great farm system. You know, and people were talking about Ronald Acuna and and Ozzy Albius working their way up the ranks, but for them to come out of you know, for them to kind of come out of nowhere like that, I think surprised me. I'm not. I'm trying. I'm trying to think. What does everyone think? What what team has surprised you the most? The Phillies or the Braves? I would say. I think I'm with you, Daniel. I feel like the Braves. Well, I certainly knew both teams had good prospects. They got had a deep farm system. You know, they were making some good draft draft picks, and so I know they were building rebuilding their teams I guess I just thought the Braves were further or were like a year or two behind the, the Phillies Next box behind Manny Machado is Brandon Woodruff. Ruff. That goes to Matthew and the Brewers. Another one for Matt. Corey Kluber. At a two ninety nine Walker Bueller Giancarlo Stanton out of this world at a one forty nine. And we've got Willie Adams, rated prospect autograph for the Rays. There you go, Alex Lindsay. Yeah, what do you get when you combine natural athleticism and strength with intelligence and solid baseball instincts? You get a player like Adams. 
Tampa Bay's top prospect gets the most out of his talents, putting it all together to punish pitchers at the plate and retires runners at shortstop. There you go. There you go, Rays. Maybe, uh, maybe get maybe get uh, Brandon McKay up. He can be a two-way player. He can pitch. He can hit. That could be the future right there. 30 out of 50, Bryce Harper. All right. Yes, Rich, what is up? Daniel says Braves in the surprise teams. He's saying because the Phillies have been using their prospects through some of the years and when they suck and the Braves are compound a bunch of rookies and all-stars Mark Hakes and Freeman with solid pitching staff. Alex Lindsay is saying that Willie Ems is the future until they trade him for prospects. I feel like I feel like they won't. They shouldn't. When are you guys getting a new, are you guys going to get a new ballpark? I feel like I feel like the Rays can be can be like the East Coast version, the East Coast version of um, of the Oakland A's. You know, they can stockpile some smart pitchers. I like that. I like those bullpen games. That's kind of progressive. You know, they can do something a little different and get some get some results. And that could be. That could be what gets a surprise edge every once in a while and makes an exciting team. Oh, good. They have a new design and location in place in Tampa. Yeah, because all I've heard from you, know, from you and others over the years is that just the area of where Tampa Bay plays right now is just kind of hard to get to and maybe not the best, not the nicest of neighborhoods as opposed to where the Buccaneers and, and the Lightning play. So I think everyone's everyone's kind of like lol Tampa Bay Rays, but I think that, I think they've got some solid fans there. So it's just hard to get out there. I feel differently about Miami though. I feel like I feel like it's going to be hard to retain that fan base there after what after what ownership has done to them over like the last two decades and new ownership and Selling off the team, the multiple sell-offs and all that. All right, behind Kenley is Signature Series Starling Marte. That is for the Pirates. Vic, last spot mojo. One of your last spot mojos. We got Mickey Mantle to two ninety nine. We got Tyler Maley, rated rookie autograph for the Reds. Who's got the red legs in this one? Rick T with the red legs. Andrew McCutcheon. Save one of those Otani inserts. Dustin Fowler. So that side's our autograph hot box right here. So there's autograph three. Should be two, uh, two more then. Dustin Fowler, rated rookie auto for the A's. David Duffy with Dustin. Out of 125. And we've got out of 50, Tomas Nito for the Mets. Rick T with the Mets. Twenty-nine 
21 out of 50. There he is. Neato. A neato hit. And one more. It's Jimmy Scherfe. Rated rookie autograph for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Daniel Press. D Press plays in the chat. Thank you, Daniel, for getting into the break. There it is. And we've got green Justin Bohr. Four out of five Justin Bohr, who apparently just got traded today. This is still Miami Marlins edition. So this Justin Bohr goes to Jeremy Anderson. Jeremy... And any family with the last name Boer in there? <laughs> Jeremy, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Out of fives and under, of course, are train whistles. We are on board the Big Hit Express. Just uh, someone, you gotta get a pull, pull the train whistle. That's always fun. All right, we're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. We are almost there. Almost there. Stay on target. Take a quick sip of tea here. So we're about 10, 15 minutes away from uh, from finishing off this break, and then as soon as after I put this break away, we'll set up the next break which will be certified football, which will probably get going around the 45-minute mark, maybe a little bit later than that, but around there. Around there. Yeah, nor was I. I saw a little bit of that green, and I thought, is that really an out-of-five green? And then there it was. This is a solid product, Daniel. I agree. <coughs> it's a solid price point for, for like a 12-box case with – a ton of autographs and a ton of parallels. Two autograph hot boxes and two parallel hot boxes. So there's a lot of opportunity. You know, at, you know like the odds are better for you to get a hit with almost with almost any team. It's a fun break. People like to do it. It's a little long. <laughs> it takes a little while, but other than that, I feel like it actually doesn't feel as long as some other breaks are around this length just because there's so many, you know, there's so many things happening in each box. You know, there's always some low numbered card or an autograph or some parallels and hot boxes. A lot of different things to see. All right, there's Raphael Devers. 50 out of 50 for Mark and the Red Sox. And we've got, wow, nice signature series. Carlos Correa and hits like this pop out. Scott McNulty with the Astros. Carlos Correa. Is he off the DL yet? Got a both Altuve and Correa on that DL, huh? Nice. There's Cody Bellinger out of this world to 99. There's Adam Jones, and the next autograph is take a chance on Chance Cisco, David Duffy with the Orioles. Nice. Twenty-five out of seventy-five. Correa is back. Okay. Nice Otani Refractor. Grease Lightning. And Brian Dozier. 18 out of 25. Twins edition of Brian Dozier. 
He's been great for the Dodgers so far. We're taking care of him, Twins fans. Don't you worry. Arthur with the Twins. If you add a 25s and under, we sleeve and top load right away. All right. All right, last two boxes, boys and girls. Thanks for filling this one up. Like I said, we've got certified football coming up right after this. That's sold out. And certified random team still holding at 22. I only see four orders coming in. So keep those orders coming if you want to continue breaking tonight. And remember, we have our all-spot sold promo happening. The deadline for that is 10.30 Pacific. Is Otani running wild? What's going on? Are they playing right now? I think they are playing right. Now. Well, they're down. They're down seven nothing to the A's. Oh, and this product, yeah. Yeah, a lot of insert, a lot of inserts in this too. So there's some decent value in the Angels. You get you get an uh, autograph like Diane did earlier of Otani, or even if you get some low number parallels, you can probably collect that together and get a decent chunk of uh, of value out of there too. All right, behind Kyle Schorber is wow, Aaron Judge. That is for TC and the Yankees. That's unexpected. That is number 9 out of 15. Woo! That's <laughs> strong. We started with Otani, closing with an Aaron Judge. We still have another hot box to go, autograph hot box to go. Not too shabby. I saw his card backwards and I was like, wait a second. That's not an autograph, is it? There's Mike Trout. It's a 299. There's Chris Archer. There's Luis Gohara, rated rookie autograph for the Braves, Rick T. There's TC. And you had that Anduhar earlier, too. So the autograph's out early. I see a little bit of gold down there, folks. A little bit of that card is gold. Clayton Kershaw to 199. And we've got Mickey Mantle out of this world. Gold! Four out of ten, and Mickey Mantle, another one for TC and the Yankees. And then Miguel Cabrera at the end. That last box should be the autograph hot box. So we've got five more autographs to go. Good luck, boys and girls. Good luck, ladies and gents. Could be some last hot box, box mojo. Mojo, Jojo. 
Hmm, the White Sox. My picks, not not good today, folks. White Sox and Royals, nothing. Padres, probably nothing. Man, 0 for 4 today on the picks? Unbelievable. I think I have yeah, my soccer picks to balance things out. Chicago Fire? How you doing, Chicago Fire? Oh, they lost two. Not a good day. Well, you win some, you lose some, folks. So it goes. Thought I'd win at least one baseball bet today. We'll get him again tomorrow. I feel like I had a decent week, though. Wait, what do all Dodgers fans say, Kevin Lesser? Last box. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. There's Albert Almora Jr. Signature Series for the Cubs. That'll go to Scott McNulty. Oh, I get it, Kevin Lester. There's always tomorrow. Right. That's a popular phrase with Brooklyn Dodger fans. We'll get him next year. There's Otani Refractor. Them bums. D. Gordon reveals a Lucas Sims autograph. That goes to Rick T. and the Braves. Twenty six out of thirty five. I think. I'm pretty sure I looked this up. I th I think it's been since the inception of the. And since the inception of the Brooklyn Dodgers, I think it's been far longer for the Brooklyn Dodgers to win their first World Series than it has been between World Series for the Dodgers, since 1988, if that makes any sense. It doesn't. It's been a long week. Out of 25, King Felix. That goes to the Mariners. Rick T with that. King Felix, Hall of Famer? Or does he fall just short? We've got nice red rated rookie Victor Caratini for the Cubbies. Another one for Scott McNulty. 22 out of 50. We've got one, two, three, two more autographs to go. There's Jose Altuve to 199. Red Mike Trout, 60 out of 99. No, I don't. I don't think. I think Felix Hernandez falls short. You see, you're saying he's first ballot, Kevin Lesser. And Austin Hayes, orange, for the orange. Zach Granite, rated rookie. I thought that was gonna be the last autograph. No, there's Zach Granite, rated rookie autograph, for Arthur and the Twins. Right, Arthur. Arthur with the Twins. Double O one out of one twenty five. And orange Austin Hayes. I like when the parallel matches the uh, the team. That goes to David Duffy and the Orange Birds. I guess they're or Orioles are orange and black, right? There you go. Austin Hayes. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The break is over. That was Donner's Optic Baseball. Pick your team number nine from jazbeeshobbyland.com. We have one more case, and we'll post that later tonight. So check it out. Grab your teams, and we'll finish that break off. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.